In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first option. You can add the headline here and on the left side, I've added three options. The option number one, you can add the title and the detailed text. Same like you can do it for the option number two and three and I have added some gradient color here. And when I click on the right side, it will show you the remaining three more options and you can add the title and the detailed text. And if you have not subscribed to my channel in PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle. Just click it here. So it creates one rounded corner rectangle. Now I'm going to change the height and width. The height I'm going to make it as 4.3 and the width I'm going to make it as 9.2 and shape outline make sure to enable make it no outline align center align middle then right mouse click go to format shape I'm going to increase the transparency level to 20 percent and then I'm going to insert few oval shapes so go to insert shape select the oval shape from the basic shapes and drag it by holding the shift key and make sure that this is something around 2.5 the height and width and shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color and again this also I'm going to make 20% transparent align center align middle then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl D again this also align center align middle and then hold the ctrl shift key together and drag it so I, I'd like this much size okay and then I'm going to add one more press ctrl D again align center align middle and this one I'm going to make it more bigger it, if it goes outside of the rectangle area doesn't matter so this much size I'm going to make it all right so once this is done I'm going to add one rounded corner rectangle from the center okay let me just give some other color here some dark color maybe or green color again shape outline make it no outline i can make it fully curve and again make sure this align center align middle and then i'm going to add two more rectangles here all right and make sure that this should not touch here there should be a little bit gap okay you can hold the alt key and you can see here i have made a little bit gap here okay all right a very little gap i need it should not overlap okay shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some other color again 20 percent transparent just to make sure that there is no overlapping and then i'm going to drag this one by ho by holding the control shift key and give a same gap here and one more shape which i'm going to insert in the middle is the rectangle okay this much rectangle size again align center align middle shape outline make it no outline so you can see here i have added one big uh, rectangle rounded corner then three oval shapes and then one more uh, this one the horizontal rounded corner rectangle then two and three uh, I have added the rectangles okay so just for the safer side I'm going to duplicate this slide right mouse click and duplicate okay and then I'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a go to the shape format merge shapes and save fragment all right so I'm going to delete this part first of all all right inside one I'm going to delete it you can see here I'm just deleting this one why i'm doing that one i'll show you once it's done okay and this part also i'm going to delete this also i'm going to delete sometimes some small parts will be there that you need to highlight and delete that part okay and then this one and this one here also the same thing not this one sorry this let me just delete this part even this part also we need to delete yeah all right and here a small line will be there that i'm going to delete make sure that some unwanted lines it should not be deleted okay so again with the 
much detail we need to select and delete one by one you can see here and here also one line is there and here also one line is there all right so i have deleted this one now i end up getting a shape like this now you see here this is one shape two three four five and six i hold the con the the con or the shift key to select this shape and then i can give some control g to group it and i can give some gradient color here okay any gradient color of my choice i can give here you can see here some maybe i can just give some kind of uh, light colors any color of your choice you can just select and give it okay so you can see here i've done like this now this shape i'm going to select and make sure that if there's anything like this you have to group it or you have to union it okay union this one otherwise this one and this one is different okay so i'm going to select this and this and union it and here also there is no change here also no change so i'm going to select this and shape fill where is the shape fill here okay and make it white all right so it looks something like this we end up and this also for this also i'm going to if you want to delete also delete you can create your own one or you can just select all these shapes and again union it okay you can see here still there are so many things are there so i just need to select all and then go to the shape format and union it and then this color also i'm going to fill this with white let me just remove these guides so i end up getting a shape which looks like this all right now depending on my requirement i can just add the text and the icons to it so if you want to give some shadow effect also for this we can give some shadow effect all right you can just see uh, i can give some shadow effect or i have to just select one by one and i have to give some shadow effect you can see here like this you can select one by one and give a shadow effect like this all right so i can just select this one and here i'm going to choose the other one all right so this shadow effect i have created and then i'm going to add one more this one hollow circle draw one hollow circle exactly in the center make sure you hold the shift key and again align center align middle i'm going to reduce it the width you can see here then hold the control shift key together and reduce the size okay again i'm going to cut this one into small two pieces okay for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle again draw the rectangle exactly like this then select the oval shape hold the shift key select this one more shape i can subtract this one and then i can give the same gradient fill what we have done here then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw small oval shape like this you can see here and put it and you can give any color of your choice so let me just give a white and hold the control shift key drag this side then select this one press control d this is for this one again drag and bring it here then this side and bring it here all right again if you want to increase the size also you can increase and if you want to give some option number one two three four that also can be given and once this is done let me just go to insert text box and i'm going to say title all right make it open sans font and i can just say semi bold reduce the font size and then go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one i don't want this much large text so i'm going to delete it again open sans reduce the font size and put it here 
you can reduce further all right move it a little bit and then that's it so now i'm going to select this both press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and then you can just add like this and press ctrl d to duplicate this time i can make it to the right side both okay and align also right align also right okay so now let me just put it here press ctrl d to duplicate this will come here and this will come here okay again if you want to put the option number here you can just put the option number one two three depending on the requirement